Okay, now we've seen for linear programming how you can take a number of inequalities and draw them on a graph and then solve the problem. Part of the linear programming question will most likely incorporate a lot of words. So in this case, for example, um, this might take up about half a page of writing. And my suggestion to you would not be to read through this incredibly diligently, word for word, um, and then get to the end, and then go, right, now do the problem, okay? I would skip ahead to the bottom first, and I go, right, okay, what's going to be asked of you is to try and formulate some inequalities, to try and write this problem that is currently in words as a series of inequalities, uh, as a linear programming problem. So... The actual situation doesn't really um, make much difference to us, but in this case, um, we have uh, the Elves Toy Company makes toy trains and dolls prams, okay? And the wheels and logo stickers that are on these trains and prams are the same, okay? We're take, they're taken to be the same. And... What we're going to have first is checking up on which, what we're talking about with x's and y's. So x tells us how many trains there are, and y tells us how many prams. Okay, so it is important that you make note of that first. So what we're going to have is, um, in a lot of these situations, they're written out in a, in a standard way. So, I can see that there are eight wheels, eight wheels, 7,200 wheels here. Okay, I can just spot that from how it's been written down. So, there is going to be an inequality based on wheels. So, each train requires eight wheels. Okay, so the number of wheels multiplied by the number of trains. Okay, so if I had two trains, I'm going to have 16 wheels, three trains, 24 wheels, etc. And I'm also getting eight wheels on each pram. So eight times the number of prams. And the company has 7,200 wheels available. So there are no more wheels past 7,200. So the total number of wheels must be less than or equal to 7,200. I can't go over that. And this is our first inequality, okay? Now, this is one that can be simplified down, and it is most likely that you would be asked to simplify that from that, okay? So what you can do is you can divide this all through by 8, and you can get x plus y is less than or equal to 7,000, um, is less than or equal to 900, sorry. So x plus y is less than or equal to 900. Then, because we've got one for wheels, we've also got one for logo stickers. Okay, so logo stickers. And this time we've got two logo stickers for each train. We've got three logo stickers for each pram, and we have 2,200 logo stickers available. So we can't go anywhere above 2,200. And that's our second inequality. This one can't be simplified down. So that's used up these first three sentences. Then we have the company is to make at least 300 of each type of toy. So, X is the type for trains. So, we can't go... Well, sorry, it's at least 300. So, we need to have X being greater than or equal to 300. Because we need 300 or more trains to be made. We also need 300 
prams or more to be made. So y is greater than or equal to 300 is also an inequality. So that's already four inequalities built up here. So that uses this part, and it, we're also told that at least 800 toys in total. Now the total number of toys is made from getting your x's plus the y's. Because remember, x is the number of trains, y is the number of prams. So that's the number of trains and the number of prams, and that needs to be at least 800. So 800 or more. And there are your one, two, three, four, five inequalities that build up this problem. Now we also need an objective function, and that's coming from this sentence here. The company sells each train for £20 and each pram for £25. <clears throat> so this describes the company's income. So the income is such that T is equal to £20 for each train and £25 for each pram. Yeah, that's a better X. Okay, so this is your objective function for this problem and it is now been taken from a worded problem to a linear programming problem which can now be solved graphically.